Okay, ladies and gentlemen, just uh, speaking with, uh, you're a local here, right? Yes. You live right right near here. You can give out your, your first name. You live around Jordan. here. Jordan. Okay. Uh, Jordan is here. He was just uh, sharing some information with us. Okay. Jordan, I just want you to tell everyone. We're live streaming right now. Tell everyone what you've seen in the past couple of days. Um, well, well, what I've seen in the past couple of days, I'm seeing National Guard recruiters walking around, knocking on doors. I was even standing on the corner right here on Riggs in North Mount. And, uh, Did you say recruiters? Or, well, National Guard. Right? National Guard yeah. in uniform. In uniform. Knocking on doors, okay. Um, we're standing right here in the middle of the street. Asked me, was I recording them? I guess in a defensive way. I don't understand why they have Anne Arundel County Police out here, National Guards for everything. Everything's been peaceful from. The time this happened, April 12th, up until now, I'm confused. Like, mm -hmm. uh, yep, but they came in full uniform, right? Okay, and they were just here doing, what did it look like they were doing? Knocking on doors, getting statements, and everything else. Knocking on doors and getting statements, huh? Okay, that's very Knocking interesting. Knocking on doors or doing whatever, but I don't, I'm confused. Like, why do you need Anne Arundel County Police, state troopers... Yeah. National Guard, when everything's been peaceful from yeah. April 12th until now, okay, yeah, so some fights broke out, okay, with the police. But right. All this extra force is unnecessary. Yeah, I think so. I think so. They're gearing up uh, for something today, obviously. Yeah. Like, uh, do you think that this is kind of an incitement for them to have this many? I mean, do you normally have this many people here at this uh, police station? No. Okay. No, the, do, do you feel intimidated by this this police force? Yeah. Okay. Honestly, yes, I do. Because okay. from what I've seen from the past few days that I've been out here, it's just been police. When I seen the National Guard, the Anne police bus pull up this morning. Right. I feel as though that all this extra force is unnecessary. I think so too. We'll give your name again. Jordan. Jordan? My name is Jordan. Your name is Jordan, and you live right here in Baltimore. I within how, Baltimore, how far away from here? Um, my sister lives on Carrie Street, but I live around okay. there. Jordan, you were telling a story earlier that uh, you have been arrested or detained before I have in handcuffs? I've been arrested before, and I've been put in the van, and I have not been seatbelted properly. Okay. Um, I have been thrown around in the van a couple times. Did it seem like they were doing it on purpose, the way they were driving around? And... I think so. Yeah. Okay. I feel as though that whatever happened to Freddie was not right, and I've went through the same thing, and I feel everyone else is paying. Yeah. This is not right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, I, I don't agree. understand why you have seatbelts in the paddy wagons and don't use them. If that's the case, instead of you paying state money to get seatbelts in the paddy wagon, yeah. you, you need to make use of them. That's right. It's not right. Absolutely. Jordan, uh... Before we go, what message do you want to broadcast out to everybody across the country? I want everybody to know that's out here that Freddie Gray is not the only person that's been through this. Yeah, brutalized, and right? And obviously murdered. Murdered, yeah. yeah. Killed, murdered, beat up by police. And right. unless we make a stand, nothing's going to change. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. That's we right. Stand up for what's right and vote them out. Together, right? Everyone out, yeah. Together, because it's happening to all of us. It's not just happening it's, to this neighborhood, it's or it's happening city to city. Freddie, I've been through it. Yeah, that's Friends right. Friends of mine have been through it. That's right. It's, we got to take a stand for what's right and do what's right. All right, Jordan. The police are crooked, and we need. To they're corrupt, and they're they're know. they're forceful. They're too what I don't understand is how can the police investigate themselves when the whole department is crooked? Yeah, that's a great point, Jordan. That's what I'm confused. Like, Jordan, let me ask you this. When you were taken, you were detained, you were put in the vehicle, uh, that whole process, were you treated with respect? I was treated with respect, respect yeah. The driver, the, the driver of the van was talking to me, explaining to me everything that okay. was going on. Okay, good. But... I still don't think that is right because yeah. although y'all have seatbelts in the van, the paddy wagon that I was in mm -hmm. had seatbelts in it, but I was not secured. You were not secured. Wow. I was not secured. I was not secured. I was just handcuffed, put in the bed, got 
got on the highway to 83, the central booking, and was bouncing all over the place, yep. sliding from the front to the back, and I don't think that's right. Like, I feel as So if you were giving them a hard time, they could easily get back at you by driving and giving you a rough ride, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. But me, as a young black male, I kept it respectful, kept mm -hmm. it peaceful. Okay, yeah, you incarcerated me. Okay, I did my time, did everything. Mm -hmm. But I feel as though that this has got to stop. It does. That's right. So we, we the people, got to stand up and say something about it, right? That's right. It has got to stop. Jordan, thank you very much, man. I appreciate it. Okay? I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Okay. I don't understand. Uh, yeah, my hair was still fly. <laughs> <laughs> you know, honestly, I understand. I mean, I'm sure things, but you know, but, Let me see. He wants to charge this one. Hold on right there. Do you mind if I just charge this real quick? Is that cool? Thank you. Here's that. Hey, hold. You guys are killing it. You got the whole thing. Thank you. Are we still running? Are you getting it? Is it clicking off now? I couldn't get it to click off. Right. You want to get over there and interview these guys? I want to get that. See if you can. It should be working fine. Make sure it's left on auto. You know what? Hey. Yeah, just try not to interfere. Let's just no. get him. Um, let's get him talking. You guys bear with me, okay? I gotta get something situated here. Bear with me, bear with me. Sorry, I just wanna keep the stream going so you guys can see what's going on. It's better than stopping and starting the stream, believe it or not. This is better than starting and stopping the stream. There we go. I just needed some battery power. Dude, I want you to stay I want you to stay well. Question. Good question. Where is he at? Where is he at? They're trying to cover it up. They're trying to, it's too late now. That's why we're going to keep the pressure on. That's why we're going to keep the pressure on. It's too late now. It's too late now. We got a dead, we got a dead, a dead boy. We got a dead brother, so it's too late now. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Black power. Black power. Power to the people, right? Well, I say black, well, the New Black Panther Party is a black nationalist organization. Uh, we noticed that when black people unite with other groups, right. Jews in the past <laughs> and others, uh, they seem to throw us under the bus once they get affluence, get money, power. Uh, they want to control the, the purse strings in the black community, but they don't want black people to control their own purse strings. So we reject this uh, a, a paternalistic, disrespectful, racist uh, a relationship they want to have with the black community. Yeah. And, and we say the New Black Panther Party, black, the Black Panthers, we say black power, and if they're on our side, we say power to the people. There you go, man. We're on your side. We're on first. your side. First and foremost, we don't yeah. apologize for it. The Southern Poverty Law Center uh, uh, castigates the black, New Black Panther Party as a hate group. See, when you defend black people, you are a hate group. But when we out here slaughtering each other, dogging each other, disrespecting each other, murdering each other, robbing each other, that's okay. Uh, a robbery on first night, let them kill each other. Let them kill each other. That's work for us. Yes, oh, sir. when you caught the suspect, put him under the jail. That's their attitude towards us. So we say black power to teach our people to love their self first. To, to re-educate them, to love they self from the, from the schools of, ha of, of self-hatred and miseducation. There you go, man. Thank you. Yep. They're going to always have coons. You see, this is why we have black nationalist organizations. 
the license black to black police. Black black okay. Black and I they have because, license because, to kill. Because, to kill. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's always going to be cool and soft, nigga. But you got, once you come to the brotherhood, you're going to have room. You stab one of us, you end up getting thrown off. You're going to get it. You're going to get it. You can trade one of your own. You see how they sit together? Even when they wrong, even when they wrong, even when they, even when they breaking the law, even when they breaking the law, they stick together. We gotta do the same thing. What you say? Yeah. 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 You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold this. Okay. Can you see? Okay. 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 Wow. They're speaking some truth. That's a truth. Baltimore PD. You know what's ironic? The only people that are not going to get paid today are the people on this side of the barricade. Just remember that, okay? The only people that will not be paid are the people on this side. What we're going to do today, we're going to do for free, okay? We don't have to worry about our past penalty. We have to worry about our country. And by the way, if you hadn't made a mistake on April 12th, you wouldn't have to worry about gearing up for a riot. Thank you. You're here. Thank you. You're here. Because of your mistakes, now the city has to pay your, your wages. And the only color we're worried about is navy blue and olive drab by the police industrial complex. That's all we're worried about. Take my picture and put my name in your database too. My name is Pete Santilli. Don't just forget about that. Pete Santilli. I want you to people tune into the Pete Santilli show and you'll find out what I have to say about your police industrial complex. Treat people with respect and you won't have to worry about gearing up. By the way, we bought you all that equipment. You're welcome. Tell them about time. Tell them again. <laughs> hey, sir. Because they need to know. Hey, sir. I went up into Gilmore Homes, right? And I talked to a few of the residents in there, and they said that man was beaten in, 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 in the court, right? He was beaten in the court, and and, and on, 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 um, where they, where they sit here and show that where he is, the officers had him hit down by that little brick wall, right? The, the court around, around the corner from there, he was beaten inside so what the happened court, off right? camera? And then here it is, they, they, they dragged him around to that court, right? right. Now, of the fact that he wasn't restrained inside of the paddy wagon. That's why the reason he abstained those injuries. And it can clearly state that here they, and me and two journalists went up to uh, the people's the people's family, uh, 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 some members that, 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 that that's inside 
of the uh, of the projects, and they sit here and showed coverage of the fact that here it is, these people had taken him out of the paddy wagon a second time to put leg irons on him. And when they put the leg irons on him, here it is, his body was like lifeless. It was no longer moving at that particular time. And she showed footage, and of course, this footage will be uh, put out there pretty soon because they end up giving it to one of the other uh, big news stations uh, 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 of the coverage or whatever. Uh, oh yes, uh, yes, I know that, but you know, but uh, but here it is, you know. Uh, the, uh, they 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 they, they want to keep it between those people and the, the journalists that they talk to, you know. But the fact is, is it is it, 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 wrong. My name is Ernest Ernest McCullough. Yes, sir. Where y'all from? Yes, sir. GMN Guerrilla Media Network. Where y'all from? We're, uh, I'm Pete <laughs> that's But that's all right. That's all right. I'm, I'm with that's the charge right. right? Yeah, that's, right. Right. that's all right. That's all right. That's There's only right. one color I'm concerned about, and that's right. that color right there, navy yeah. blue. Right, and that applies to all of us, right? That's their license to kill. Yeah, that's, right. Right. that's their license to kill. Blue city. That's their license to kill. Yeah, absolutely. We're gonna. I'm gonna be back. What we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna leave. And then we have to go to the Where are the marches? Oh, this is radio talk show. Right? Yeah, okay, baby. We'll talk more. Yeah, right, right. That's right. We want to give the Southern Poverty Law Center hates him, too. The Southern Poverty Law Center that our voices are heard. I don't need to go through CNN. But see, what I'm saying, what I'm saying, all the days of the world. The other day, I saw him walk down the street. He was sad and it was just a Okay, yeah, they serve destruction is. and death. That's how. Oh, really? That's what I, how I feel about it. And they serve themselves. And they have the power to kill. No paper. If they think they have the power to do just anything they want to do, they get away with it. And they have been getting away with it. These people aren't even indicted. They're not even indicted. Thank you. 